Wagwan Wadao. This is the 97th podcast with Dante, Frank and me, Andrew Trevor. Na ikibamba sana unaweza Twitter 3 me nami. Ushawahi date dem anapiga wa Nate? Alafu nasikiza mama piano. Ba, sana mwade muda ndio matatu. Wagwan Wadao. Wagwan. Wagwan. Eh hey, lakini mtandao ni tamu. Nimezubaa tu niko hapa Instagram na nileta tu reels za wasikiana. Eh yeah. azini Instagram ina nifurahishe anga. Sijui wanajuaje test yangu. Nijui unaona sana. Wewe uko from kitu nyewe unaona sana alafu anakuongezea. Ule yako na mingi anaongezea <laughs> juu yake. Anaongezea juu yake. <laughs> Sasa mimi wananiongezea. Eh wanakuongezea madhudha. Tangu nianze kuochile ya Taylor make me sweat. Make me hot. Make me lose. Baadhi ya ngoma nilicheki au nikacheke dem flani hivi ana, ana ameka hivi kamera kwa uso anafanya make me swear unajua kwa kichwa yake anaka huyo mwenye ngoma mm. eh saa zingine mtu unapa, mtu mwenye una ado mtu mwenye una admire imanishi mnafanana eh, wewe eh. zurambaa zura tu ado mtu mnaweza karibiana yeah 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 sasa unaona kaa wewe labda ado diwa muranga jubez na rasta at least kuingiana na ita kwa hizi hapa ni wapi kwa ba hapa ni wapi? Kwa ba? Mzinga ni ngapi? Mzinga kadha. Mzinga ni wapi? Usikia ni ngumu enda hivyo. Ah bro, mode wa mao. Hapa ni wapi? Kwa ba? Mzinga ni ngapi? Mzinga kadha. Kadha. By the way, hivi wenye unasikia audio moranga na imba, ana compete na bana boy. Ana compete. Alikwambia, alikwambia na compete na unajuaje? Lafika ndo anasema nga Kenya music to the world, ama to the world. Ana compete na Maddox na sofa ana win. Ya Maddox amechizi huko Mirem. Wenzake wanauliza hapa ndio wapi? Si atalala kuzi Maddox ako wapi? Ako na mzinga ngapi? Zake zilikozisha bamba hiyo time. Wamsaidie. Najua Trevor ameongelea vitu zenye explore yake inamletea ni madem. Yangu inaniletea news. Naona hapa kuna jamaa kwa Qust of intentionally touching the police officer's breast. <laughs> As in ujama. Eh, hey, ashika tujigia sansi. Eh, hey, hey, kwani polisi ni mkate? Alisema kwani polisi <laughs> wewe unashika watu nani anashika yako? Akakwata ba. Eh hey, bro, umechukua personal hata hizo. <laughs> Unaniumiza. Umsa <laughs> anashika serious. Hey, lakini ndio upate gaza kushika polisi matiti ujama wewe hey, uogopi uogopi hey, kitu. Uogopi kitu. Eh, hey, uko mbaya uko mbaya uko mbaya. Ah ah yake yes kwa amba ni le vibes. Unajua mimi naweza shika vibes. Unajua unaweza shika juu ya polisi. Polisi. Hapana. Ushaanza ni tabia mbaya. Eh. According to that to section 11 eh, eh, of the sexual yoni, offense yoni act of 2006 huyu ataenda jela anaitwa Eric Kibagendi. <laughs> Kibagendi si mkisi? Mm. <laughs> Na majamaa <laughs> wa fence hiyo town. <laughs> Wa fence hiyo county sape imefika. Manze ju ju embarambama meruka tu hiyo fence akakuja huko hivi ana basket. Embarambama ufanya nini? Embarambama pia ana basket. Ai, hiyo sasa si ndio yake. Azini yeye akivalongi sasa ndio trending news. Ati hiyo sasa ndio yake. Si ndio? Akivalongi ndio ana trend. Embarambama embarambama seen with a pair of trousers with a suit. Hiyo sasa ni manze ndio ana perform kwa club manze. Na dress. Oh my god. Alito club ba perform. Eh, na dress. Aka bigger performance yake kali pale. Club gani? Club guys wote wana for avoid. Manzi, club gani iko huko kwao? Uh, I think Yo jamaa anaka perform. Like kuna ak- 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 gig mingi kuna kuna club best kisi. rapper. My best rapper bro ni nani? Sinyashinski. Ah uh, Jimmy Gate. Ah uh, yes rapper, <laughs> yeye ni wa vocal. Jimmy Gate. Mm. Eh, wanasema nini? Tiga nega ningepatwa na muhadhara. Sasa kuna hipa da kuongea. Hii ingine hiyo akasema please nikasema no, no nikamwambia taka besa sekare bro hiyo ni rap bro rap gani umse anasema ngani ni wewe unajua umeanza kuona muziki juzi unasikia na Steve Owelo welo awe sasa umeanza upuzi Steve kwa fire sijakataa <laughs> umeanza tu upuzi <laughs> lakini wanaume siku hizi wako na njaa sijui shida iko wapi itabidi zao wanze kuweka mafuta taka kwa chakula zenye wanauza kwa supermarket ndio maana tuliweka wanga mafuta taka kwa gideri high school mm. ya inapunguza Mahanja ma- na hey. wanijulia hapo mm. mafao. Bana ikusaidia. Juu kuna story nyingine <laughs> tena. Kwa sababu kuna kulala kulala. Kuna msi, kuna msiana kuna msiana sema. Kuna msiana sema alikuwa. Sasa kazi msiana sema shule yote na kula nata. Eh hey, what about? Sasa <laughs> <laughs> sema shule yote watu walikuwa na kula latako. Mimi kitu najua kuna boy alitokanga kaka megabweza kakuja shule yetu. 
Alisema Rezonal toka huko. Tako. Tako ila tembea huko kabla na tako. Huko Western na Nyanza. Ah, uh, unapigwa rasa kama dinglo. Ati unajifanya kijana wa jiji, ati cool kid wa kile umekuja kusoma Western. Ai. E utakile utakile mbeteza huko kinyombo tozo, utadai so dai so. Eh unaanza tu kufiro tu hivyo. One time. Figo na semani. Una fira nadi shule. Sasa kuna jamaa alisema <laughs> alikuwa surprise na shindo kwani siku hizi ukiita mama fua wanakuja wawili na unapotanga pesa ya kufua ikienda sana ni tao. So alikuwa na shindo eh mbona siku mama fua kwani wako na wako na komiti gani hiyo wako na chama gani yenye ukipata mboka unaitia beshti yako. So si akaamua kutemenya mmoja alikamna beshti yake akamuuliza eh na mbona unakaa na beshti yako? Akamwambia kumekuwa na story za wakienda kufulia machali kama mdema kopi yake peke yake ichalia na mdandia tu one time hapo ana hey. ah, size on tabia gani watu wana mdandia kwa tabia za kinyoka eh mbona tu baka siji ngombe eh na anafunga tu hadi mguu azinulu kwa hadi time ya kutafuta kamba alisema kuna chaliadi alimhanda kwa keja akamwambia sipo mnyonya mboro wa mlipi alianda mama fua mm. eh lakini pia ndio ifike point unaanda mama fua bro uko uko mbaya uko dry uko dry uona tiki vile mama fua uka <laughs> wana kwa kama drogba Una sanga mna ngozi mekauka raka ni juma mafuri de mekauka. Mafuri ni ako dress bila komba. Una rarua tu. Lakini sini mia tano tu super mtu mia tano yake aende jamani. Lakini ukidani mama fua na yuko mba jamani. Tu agree. Wase kama wanafatu viboko. Eh na yote bi ni nanga mpaka tau na kutanga kwa sababu kwa stage hapo ya upuzi kazi yangu kushika madem rasa wakiopandisha mate tabingine za kiupuzi upuzi tu beba 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 ume beba 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 yeye ana kuza tu msera hasa tunombanisha gari eh nilisikia kulikuwa di wasingine walikuwa wanaanza tabia yenye mdema akipanda mat anavuta bra yake hapo nyuma hiyo ako kasapa na kavuta na nyuma kalieta tutakani tutaka ila kinyo kitu ya kuvuta najua najua eh hiyo skill ya kuvuta unajua kuvuta nini yo Uvuta nini bro? Wacha kusema vitu. Unajua mama yangu ana uchingi podcast by the way. Tuacha kuzoeana by the way. Sasa sijui tabia zako mbaya unavuta bra. Imambo imambo mnaanza kusema vitu za kijinga hapa ndani. Unavuta bra. Nilivuta bra yako. Ya sister yangu. <laughs> sister yako avangi. Haizi tushia kwa bra. Hata unajua. Eh hey, kumbu unajua? Si anajua. <laughs> si ndio hiyo hapo kwa nilimdanganya. Si ni sister yako mmoja ule mkubwa. Oh li Julia api sister yake atoshi kwa bra. Si nilimuona bila bra. Oops. You guys are in love. But usijali ni life. Unajua no, sengine mnasema anga freedom. As in fanya tu kitu. Rose kumoja utaenda mtao upate sisi sako amechora tatu ya ujama. Bro, unafika tu. Unafika si si unachora huko unaviana ka. Alafu unapata amemjaa kwa mgongo unaona vile kilika. Unaona vile ka Memphis DP ana kwa amechora anga simba kwa mgongo. Unata unata konde boy amechora ndovu kwa mgongo ndovu. Nataja wasanii nataja wasanii. So ima eh Bro si mi story si yangu. Bonde bas. Eh. Hapo pata tu sister aka amechora tu kwa mgongo huyu jamaa na hizi mashades tu hivi. Alafu picha fulani alipigwa kwa podcast. Hivi ana smile. Hivi ana smile na naka hivi. Wewe unasikia sister yako huyu atapata msanii. Eh, hii ni wivu, hii ni wivu. Sasa utakata mgongo mzima akichora umse kwa mgongo kama tatu. Unajua kwanza akichora mgongo mzima inamaanisha three quarter your place ni macho na lips peke yake it take. Imagine mjaza sisi tangu lips zako na macho. Najua makosa itakuwa yangu, makosa ni sister yako. Na akiandika jina hapa kwa shingo. Eh 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 kwanza hiyo upuzi fulani. Mbona mtu huandika jina ya partner wake kwa mwili yake? As in mbona unaandika tu jina it Trevor? Sio young and stupid. Mapenzi inafanya uandike jina ya mtu sasa utamsahau ama hiyo inasaidia kufanya nini? Utembe ukiambia watu. <laughs> watu wajuu kwa relationship. Okay. Unajua anaweza kufikiri uko single? Eh hey, nilikuwa nimeheshimu wisdom. Wisdom msanii mmoja huyu. Mm, huyu mwenye alikuwa anga nani? Assistant wa Bahati. Alfa nini? Si alichora jina ya msupa wake kwa mkono hapa. Bwana jamani, mbona sasa kwani? Sio maana kwanga na msupa. Si hizi madrama nasikianga huku sio walitupana kwa mtaro, Miremo anavurutana manguo. Unatumia mato mbua hiyo anakwanga nani huyu? Usiongelee hivyo kuhusu wisdom. Najua kwa kwa a new show inaitwa Take Me Home. Najua hiyo story ya kuchora tatu kuna anitagwa Jerry Davon. Alikuwa mchora gapa tatu ya mtu wake. Yeah. akaandika jina vizuri yes in full kidogo kidogo hivi akafilita tu <laughs> ni kama jina alichora tu too soon 
akaavu kuikava na feathers mwenye jina alimwacha mm. na jina yake kwa mwili mambo ilichemka sasa jua jina akaongeza tu feather tu flani hiyo jina jua jina so kuchora jina ya mpenzi wako kwa kama tattoo mkiachana sasa una tena unaanza kutafuta tattoo artist tena no. afunike eri wale wa jina Trevor kuna mtu anaweka tu sura tu ya partner wake kwa shingo hapa unashindwa huyu wazimu anaenda wapi <laughs> na wale wa uso jamaa amechora tu Beatrice yeah. azin unajua hata kani tattoo si mspaka kuna jina hata mzuri ya kizungu <laughs> jamani nani anaandika anga Beatrice Felistas sikia azin jina zina hata si pia zizihitaji hata kuandikwa <laughs> <laughs> Ni kama tatu hati sikuja ni kuandike jina msipo wako na ni jina za upuzi hizi mabitis bitis constant scholastica hizi. Mm. Jina zingine za kishenzi atifibi. <laughs> Nani anaandika? Kibu ndio kwani anaandika kama fwebe. Eh at pH. Fwebe. As in what? Muro ndiki andike fibi. Na ndio wapuzi wanaanzanga. Mtu ana Mtu anamkatua asubuhi anachora Mike Sonko kwa mapaja. Manzi Atoraje sunku wana atoraje kwa paja zako atoreweta matakarua eh hey. baba imagine <laughs> unaenda unaomba mde akuje mechi unapata kwa mgongo amechora mudavadi <laughs> alafu picha big hiyo mudavadi mapua kuna mapua big hiyo <laughs> basi ilichukua tatuate sometime ama inga na top ana said tu mapua na said tu mapua ya muda pone za choraji na partner wako kama tatu hapana na video ni cover react bro na blue na kwanga in love si in love say manishi sasa at sasa lazima approve it unanipata as in si kwa kwani u feel unampenda already ya kutosha mimi ama wewe wewe msema na upe ndani mimi ana ro niko naye sinataka kuja unataka nani ajibu you mean unanga mtu mkiwa kwa relationship na kwa one Yeah. Uko kwa relationship na kwa one mpaka unamwacha utembele tu na jina yake juu sasa mmekuwa one mpaka mna share manet. Azin sasa si wanike one. Ndio point yangu ni simsha kwa one. Sasa mtu anaona unachora tena sijui jina yake. Ndio mse ndio ukikutana na Deva kukwambia hey hey what's your name? Unaguza tu unaguza. Kwa nini? Kwa mwili. Tattoo. Are you dating? No you don't talk to other girls. Unaguza tu apart from unaanza everything I eat sleep walk and talk. The love of my life my future my kids why you are you are chora kajina kake hapo watu. Eh. Hey. Hadi unaongeza hadi sura. Ukari utamsao. Eh. Eh. Hey. Kileo unamsao. Ina funkia chano unaeka X hapo mwisho. <laughs> X. Sasa ndio ukipata mwingine tena uandike jina, hey. tena unaeka X. Sasa X kwa picha ya ule wa kitambo. Eh, hey. ama kwa hiyo jina. Hiyo ndio ina prove unapenda mtu. Si ndio? Relation. Eh. Yeah. Tatu bro. Ndio prove unapenda mtu. Hata hey. mimi sikuna niona tu nimeandika jina huyo msichana hapa. <laughs> Hey. Bwana wasanii wengi wametoa matatu za nini majina zao. Watana na ve, watana na Vera na Otile wana West walikuwa na West ana time. Alisha sema Otile alikuwa na sausage. <laughs> Vera anapenda kebab. <laughs> Matana na kumbe alienda kwa kebab kwa hiyo kebab. Unaanza kwa relationship. Say for example ukiwa kwa relationship wewe na mtu wako hivi. Vitu kama Netflix account mkifungua yeye anakuanga na account yake lakini ni yako ile yenye mse ile ya kushare. Umeka mtu wako unachiki pale ma Spotify ile premium umelipia pia umemgawia yake one time mko na email flani just in case tu kuna vitu zinaingia ingia mmefungua sim mmeza receive ama unapata pia wewe umefungua tu ume login Instagram account yako kwa simu yake so time mnaachana easy Netflix na Spotify unamtoa kwa account yako ama kunaendanga aje this is naisha ama point ya move on ni ukoja move on basa afai kuzi delete sasa kwenye mtu Netflix ni ku move on si ndio as in wewe utafute friends Azini mimi naye tunapenda na Netflix na ingilia wapi si ni kuwatch tu mapenzi imefika mwisho sasa hizi ni X unanyima mtu text ni mimi sijui uja ama text ni nini check Trevor Max the Spot Trevor uja ama check to me email email flani hivi ndio jamaa na by the way si ulikuwa na email ime well lakini wako si ni kanash nilikuwa na account jambo sasa mbona hiyo email unatumia hadi saa hii si tulishaga watu tuka degree tulishaga watu eh it was more than an email bro Tuligawana tukasema eh hey, check wewe kuna hudi yangu na kurudishia mimi mimi na baki na password email yetu sawa Easy Unabadilisha kufi... password email la hudi Si ndio kwani haitoshana <laughs> sana kwa ngoma Hudi alikimesha beat ilikuwa mbaya Lakini sasa ilifikaje hadi mnataka kuwa na email same La wacha ni kwambie kitu Bwana <laughs> yangu <laughs> 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 kidogo kidogo Kabla <laughs> Wewe yang is stupid. Unafanya vitu zenye ni young and stupid. Mm-hmm. Ndio kumeshapita hiyo level. Si ukifika sijui 38 <laughs> unaanza kufunguliana email na mtu. Wewe ni mzuri ulifanya kitambo unajua saa hizi 
manzee ni kufocus on ni individual mimi nafanya nini wewe unafanya nini na na build pamoja but kitamu mkiwa young and stupid unafanya hizi vitu by the way usha text sasa sasa hiyo ni chai usha unaona kama ungeskip hiyo pass hiyo ungekuta kutext sasa sasa yake conduct text nini una imagine clever x a x a sasa sasa mlifungua youtube same mlifungua ngai youtube eh hey, walikuwa sha post hapo nilikuwa nimeanza kwa follow kwa manager ni the, the, the monties ulikorosha subscribe hey. the monties <laughs> <laughs> ah si kwa the monties the monties ndafungua sasa hii men kanye ai somebody call kanye ujama sasa ndo nena nifungue maybe sasa inaweza fungue kim kim and kanye she ujama unasema hiyo time ilikuwa tu ujama alikuwa amepost content kwa hiyo youtube server mimi nilikuwa na follow up bro ama wali delete account YouTube ilikuwa pale asha post hapo alikuwa amepost video yake kama ame bro nilikuwa kweli una jam nikisema kweli una jam umekaukiwa na love bro huwa amekaukiwa huyu acha asira lakini amekaukiwa na love to agree to kwa sababu ya asira asira na nda acha na kitu agree to kwa sababu jamaa alikuwa amepost content ya lili ya lili sasa ngoja sasa likuulize hiyo na manzi yake uko hoteli wanakula bana Anya i love new jig. Sasa likuulize. Yo YouTube uliko umepanga content itakuwa vitu kama? Atakuwa tumepanga. Some love mpanga. to as in idea to fungu YouTube. Anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> as tunakam tunarusha. <laughs> content yao ya kwanza ilikuwa nini dai? Wali post wakiwa kwa hotel wakifinya Kiroma hapo. <laughs> Nilikuwa ni mafollow. Mimi nimsena. Sasa hivi uliko mnataka kwa the eating couple. Na <laughs> kwa <laughs> nini? <laughs> <laughs> They were laughing. <laughs> oh my god. Uka kwa Saida kuteka. Saida ni amo. Uko gawa se plan wa the. Uko gadi unafanya mita. Sasa sahi. Wanani yuko na jibu. Sasa sahi. Ungekuwa anga ushaeka juli move on, si ndio? Ungekuwa kwa sahi anafanya meet and greet. Ume cheka sana. Nairobi gossip ungekuwa na kujua na jina. The, the Ambos cooking show. Sasa yule kwa gada naambia. Sasa yule kwa mfanya una kama vile unacheka. Yule kwa mfanya collab na Jackie Matubio akiwa na boy wake. Akiwa shoot na Terence. Akiwa shoot na Terence za couples. Wako na daddy ya Mokos. Ah fuck. Wote utaliwa. Lakini wewe unakuanga soja. Kama ushai try hizo mimi usikii mimi sijaifikiria zie kwa na partner mwenye ningefikiria ati tufanye kitu kitu moja same ama eh kuna mwingine ashai niuliza kwa tunaweza kuwa na joint account nilikaribu nduke na dirisha ni yes way madam unaenda kufungua kufungua nini matako yako ma joint account karibu nijirushe na dirisha lijiue joint account bank account na mtoto wa kike mwenye sijui hawezi eh, ongeza kufanya kitu yote hivi hata for love ha, siwezi bro wallahi hata ikwe cooking show betting show ikwe nini siwezi mimi not unless ni mamua huo wangu wa maisha kifukufa kupo but hata huo wa maisha siwezi bado si bado watu divorce alafu sasa hiyo youtube sasa hiyo do mnaeke sasa mtoto kama garanta sasa kuna wasi wanakuanga na account hiyo joint account ya wewe na partner wako kuna account ya mtu hii in case akam ndafu kuna account yako individually nauliza hiyo joint sasa hiyo joint si mnagawana si mlikuwa mnasave pamoja wewe ushai kuwa nayo unaongea nikao ulikuwa nayo ukagawana si ujibu nataka tu useme kisike vile ananiambia unaweza fikiria alikuanga na joint account wasipo si umeuliza tu mtu anafanya nini kwa hiyo ulikuwa unajua nauliza huyo alikuwa nayo sio alikuwa anauliza wewe uko nayo jamaa niambia nini Kwanza sips drink unajoko uja ama kwake kuingia unaeka kidole. Eh. Hey. Hasa unaimagine mse kama huyu sasa sasa ataendea kidole. Sijibu sasa. Unajua wewe si wakutumia na kia pochini. Eh hey, cheki nimetupa kia hapo utaona pota. Mimi niambie time yangu ya kuongea sitaki kutukana. Si ndio hii time tutakuangalia kwa nini pia you notice design swali. Ah. Eh bro, na ulisoma. Kumbe uja kukisikia. Sasa yes sorry mmesema kuna kuna sura fani cheke pa levo mse wala wa sefani wa hey narobi gossip hide my deal hide, yeah, hide my deal after yeah, you man. hey ni, next ni hide my deal so u demal kuna sema venye alikuwa in a relationship na a guy 
Non c'est des fantômes il y a tout manger eh manger sur les chengo zangu man ni for 20 OK yes Na juve furai ni for 20 la jifanya hapo furai ni nishiku Umse Amelia Skia skia story skia 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 story Oh oh madam analia ti eh boy yake alimwambia mfule manguo lakini eh akapata hizo mangoni nazo ni mingi sana hata kaanza kufulia boy wake. Sasa alikuwa analia huyu boy anataka anataka pewe zile treatment za mtakiwa in marriage. Wifely duties na husband Wifely duties. duties. Na hii time hii time yote ni relationship to CDP hivyo. E mwanzo demo akakataa kuosha manguo. Si wako sawa. Alikataa kuosha. Mm. Yeah. Pa, ni mtu ameamua ucha leo ameamua kwa ude. Hey, wana, ni, wana ishi pamoja type of shit. But kama mnaishi na mse pamoja na ashamu mshajua the way forward ni marriage si inafaa uko nampate hizo duties juu sasa si nyinyi unajamsha ndio tumeishi pamoja si ndio ah kuna kuishi pamoja nyamjamua kama mtoana regardless sasa tunaishi pamoja si ufanye mambo ah ingine ni angono tu na baridi eh hey. hey, na mtu akuongelesha nisinuke mdomo kwa nyumba <laughs> ni nini bro <laughs> mtu akusik advice <laughs> oh boeka eh hey, nikiboeka naongelesha mtu lakini kama washaamua si tunajua pe tunaenda then afanye tu kila wafanye tu hizo duties Lakini jamii ya official bana. Kume kwa official na nani? Kwa nini unataka holiday? Si mimi yeye ah, ni demu. Na mtu mwenye anajua anga anaenda mbali wanaona anga tu mapema. Mambo tena ya kungoja siji. Ni nini tunapenda kufanya vitu official na inaonekana? Tushalala uchi. Alafu sasa ati ndio sasa ati ati make it official to my parents. After tushalala uchi yote oh, Nairobi miaka 4. Awasi wa kume kit official ndio wale waseuli za madem can I kiss you? Unaweza unaweza uliza dem can I kiss you? Mimi sasa ama hoja ama one is always a dem can i kiss you lakini ni shawa eh eh ushai kitambo wewe si pia ulifungua account ya youtube kwani mimi nisema dem can i kiss you si ndio maulifungua account juga si yule za can i kiss you sasa kama kama hujafungua account unauliza kama sasa wewe ukuuliza juu ulifungua account unauliza kama mtu sasa na kufungua account kwani ni ubaba aisikatai ni utoto sasa sasa unasema nini unasema nini you can the same place we are children But hizo ni vitu gani zenye msia anafa ku consider before a move na significant other wake kwa maybe kwa a new place kama msha agree mnataka kuishi pamoja wewe na mtu wako eh nini hizo msia anafa ku check kwanza before move in vitu kama kungorota bwana kungorota si rahisi kuvumilia sleeping behaviors ni kitu ya maana sana eh, eh, eh. usikue na mule mtu mwenye apendi kulala saidi yake akitanda mm anataka yako sana ama anataka blanket yote uko kwa ni ngumu uko kwa kwa lakini unalala ni kwa umesongea mimi kwanza unajua kuna kwa zile tabia zenye no chiki normally wewe kama chali unalala ngai side nyingine yenye si ya ukuta kwa keja kama uko na kitanda kuna hizo ke kama uko na kitanda si ndio uko na mate same easily hii side ya karibu na mlango mlango mali mtu anaweza ingia ha hapo ndo chalia na lala lakini unapata dema na kusukuma tu wewe ulale wewe ulale huko kwa ukute yeye alale huko karibu na mlango hey. John champion dema jona soja tu wewe hata angeenda nje kwa gate huyu mtu anajiweza mbona sana lala kwa huyu ml... angelala huyu anafaa tembe tembe nje na rungu manzi achunge chunge gate ni nini so, ni masai vitu kai hizo yenyewe unafaa uishi na huyu mtu wako before muanze kuishi na huyu mtu wako hizo vitu fulani zenye mnafaa muende on kama zile date za three three nights zile date za two days mnaenda ndo uone eh venye ana mkanga venye yeye ulala na vitu kama hizo hizo hata ni before nyi mwamu kama mnataka ku move in ndio kuna hizo tabia fulani unaweza discover kama msha move in na mtu wako unashindwa eh hizo ni gani za kiganga hizo ama kama unaata hiyo ya kwenda hizo three night dates mu invite kwa wako weekend yeah two moja. days eh uh-huh. two nights one night one see at you all of a sudden tu mnaishi pamoja unaweza pata ni wase wanoma wanoma sasa ni wale wase fulani ikianza ni moto ikianza anafanya fanya mavitu vitu hapo katikati anaacha kufanya hizo duty zake tena mnaanza kukosa na ya bure unapata labda ni apendi kuoga manze mm jukani si msifanye kwa anapiga story kuna day fulani ama mkuita demu yake kama the third sleep over third eh alafu demu yote mko sleep over kaanza kumwambia eh yo it is time to kwa kwa dem sasa alikuwa anaenda kwa boy alafu kwa dem so kwa boy alikuwa kama mara mbili hivi akaenda kwa udem yake eh udem akaanza kupiga story za eh nakambia yesterday i was fighting with an angel Ay. at the door eh zone gani zone gani zone gani i defeated him zone gani zone gani 
Huyu huyu lazima amedefeat hadi angel. Alili hadi alishinda. Alishinda vita ya angel man. Alipigana na angel akashinda. I defeated the angel. I won the. Ujai pata wako kwa msha usiku wa meza dawa. Wale wana meza dawa na masaa. Eh. Ati 320. Mbona unda kwa meza dawa 320 wewe? 320. Na ameza ngada ati unajua kuna kwa meza dawa ya saa 8 ama saa tisa ikuangi na nukta. Eh bro nukta. Nani ana meza ngada 245. Mu 45 dia nini? I ya dawa. So meza tu dawa tu. Mbona 245? Na hizi ndio vitu zenye si elewangi mkishaka na msee watu washa date like 5 years hadi walikuwa niishi pamoja washazoea na hivyo. Alafu sasa mnaachana. Sasa mta anafanya nini? Imagine some monty sasa hivi uko kwa serious relationship. Mimi niko kwa marriage. Sikuza ulikuwa kwa serious relationship. Okay. Kafungua di YouTube account. Ikisha sasa mta anafanya nga nini ndugu yangu? Sisi ni inaisha. <laughs> Unajua yeye yako mko mnaoishi pamoja. Imagine unasomeishi pamoja hadi washazoeana. Hadi kila mtu anajua roles zake. Una get? Unaka mm. nikam mko married ni vile tu sasa ni life ya Nairobi. Mm. Ai nafika tu siku moja after six years hivi na die tu manze. Unajua mtu kama vile kurudi tena kuanza zero. Unajua sasa ni unarudi sasa streets. Unajua vile mm. mtu akionga kwa situation kama hiyo. Unachanganga hadi na tabia za streets. Unakaa tofa hadi vijana magunso kuendelea na sherehe za kinadanta hao wanataka waniharibu hapo wani spoil na cut off vijana wadogo watafanya ni achane na my love eh, kwa so, so kurudi na kuanga noma na mimi napenda anga hiyo stage sana kwa life ina kuanga poa umezoa zile umezoa ile vibe flani unatoka hivi job unapata alikuwa amekweka ka kitu pale mm-hmm. yani unapata hizo my husband duties ni vile tu bado amjoana alafu mnaishi pamoja for, for, for five years mna kuna hizo laws kuna eyes kuna vita kuna the good moments hadi mshazoeana mnajua yenyewe hivi ndio mare juku pia alafu mna break up ah huyo dem kwanza kwanza madem sasa unajua kwanza vile madem who cut off their friends wakipata ng'a mtu mm. watakangi stories of their friends juu haribu ndo wazao mm. yeah kuna only one friend who is my man na hiyo <laughs> ndio na tena wakata zanga Uko, Okay, okay relationship acha kukata ties na friends zako kabisa kabisa kabisa. Wewe pia unahitaji your time alone ya kwenda tu wewe ufikiri about your life, ufikiri tu about your hobbies and the things you like. Ufanye tu pia ukiwa peke yako. Ite mwenye mna peke yako. Ukiwa na as in ukiwa na wasi wenyewe unapenda nyi, apart from your Jupi partner. Yako ni depressing. Ju ukichukua unajua hiyo life yako unachukua nga time kwa relationship unachukua life yako yote una mix na ya partner wako. So hata una kwa mtu mmoja. Eh una kwa mtu mmoja. Iti sasa hizo vitu zenye wewe vitu zenye wewe upenda. Wewe eti sasa unasema sasa this time around na sacrifice nifanye venye be wangu anataka. Mimi karibu nianze ngekula pilipili jo. <laughs> alikuwa anakula nga pilipili, alikuwa anapenda pilipili alafu alikuwa ajua kupika. Sasa nikafkari I was almost eating that shit. <laughs> sasa unapata wase kama kina Trevor hivi time yenye hey, nini nini lazima unitaje taje wewe wewe ni maza wewe ndio ulikuwa na youtube account usiwai niongelesha tena ndio umenona time relationship <laughs> imeisha time ime, relationship imeisha bado life yake yeye na depend on partner wake ama wana coexist as in kama partner wake yuko kuna vitu zingine zake aziezi move jo mezoea asubuhi sijui yeye ndo anapeleka dogi yao inaitwa sky out ikatembe jioni manzi yake ndo anairudisha anga ndani ye yeye ndo anapika anga sapa yeye ndo anapika mchele mzee kana kulikuwa na duty ya kutoa takataka <laughs> unajua kila bili mko na siku yake ya kutoa takataka <laughs> sasa takataka ni mimi tushukishanga you mean hey. unajua spend kuish first ama second floor ama third floor trevor to make it clear ukiwa kwa relationship ulikuwa na ishingi na msupa wako yeah 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 <laughs> how many years like three years oh, two Lord. years two years hata <laughs> same too I was in love bro I was in love I was fucking in love Oh lord he in love do me fuck bro ni kaka tof my stories I'm bro don't and I can text text up I want to speak with you una na nani kuiva bro are you a bitch nigga jamani kata u jamani ni ambia tone kuiva na hii time yote nime roast wa kuku imedana ni marinate ni ngi so over bro kuku unajua kuku ikikaanga uchi hivi na kaanga nini bro sijui sijui kuku mepakwa imepasuliwa hivi Staisa huyu jamani nilimwambia twende KICC show ya Sauti Sol. Huyu jamaa akasema kuji. Na alikuwa amesema tunaenda. Sasa nini mapenzi ilikufanya ukakataa twende show ya Sauti Sol. Shughuli za Sauti Sol zote unajua madem uja. Mm. 
Yes, ina, inataka mtu anaenda ku hunt, si ndio? Yes. Mimi I was eating at home. Na hunt ni nani? Hunter ni ule, mimi had packed lunch, bro. Had packed lunch, bro. Unaona vile unaona saa hizi ndio vitu sana nilikuwa nauliza. Lakini saa hizi inafika wewe well, fuck you. <laughs> saa hizi yako ni uivu. We'll to cut off. Sasa we are back in it. Niliku. <laughs> eh, si niliwa. Sasa <laughs> si tuko tu hapa but still enjoying. Mm-hmm. But at at break mara mingi you have your expectations. Sasa zingine wase we expect you to excess. Oh, you shouldn't have expected that. Sasa you I'm in a relationship. We will be doing this with my partner. This is my partner. Hizo ni vitu hizo na pangadi watu hii jina. No check hizo ni expectations bado. Uki expect sana lazima utakuwa heartbroken. Mimi ni shai kwa kwa argument ya watoto. Mimi unajua mimi nataka wawili. Eh, hey, yeah, nataka. Labda 5 hivi, 4 hivi, 5. Sasa unajua tena hii tena ni argument tu tena. Mm. Tena mmekaa tu siku mzima atulali. Tuna discuss tu sasa a a. 5 ni wengi. Tu, tu, tu ni kidogo i need a big family adem na kosa mtu anaenda kwa balcony bro yeah balcony nilikuwa <laughs> natoka naenda jogging unasema <laughs> nini unasema nini <laughs> tunaongelea story yako unasema nini <laughs> lakini shit guys ina feeling ni venye msema amekimbilia hiyo shit mnafaa kwanza mjue your relationship goals before moving pamoja eh hey. hey. juu tujue tu eh hey, venye tuna move in ni juu mimi siezi ile parent peke yangu that's why tuna move in mimi na wewe tumekuja hapa ku survive eh hey, isi marriage by the way usidhani atenda kuapa submissive atenda kuapa na kupikia breakfast lunch na dinner nisipopika unakuja kuni question mna make to relationship <laughs> umesema kama mtu kwa question jojo japika eh hey, ujaisikia msi ati umeshinda hapa mchana mzima kuna kitu umenipikia eh hey. uko <laughs> <laughs> unashindwa eh hey, jamani ndugu yangu Umeambiwa tu nilikuwa nimekaa. Ambia na wewe na partner wako nini unataka in the next five years? Nini unataka in the next 10 years? Ndio mtu asikuje hapa alie oh you used me. Oh you wasted my time. Ningekuwa nime move on at oh ono ulifanya mpaka sikuenda US. Sasa ningekuwa na kazi. Oh ono ulifanya ninge join university. Sasa ningekuwa na graduate. Hadi mimi niliambiwa ni waste your time. Angalia. You know bro. I don't know waste someone's time bro. She ain't go recover bro. Damn, <laughs> Time wasted flies bro. <laughs> Kuna kura story Dante alikuwa niambia asubuhi ya mse alisema the perfect age ya ku get married. Eh hey, according to unpopular opinion mse alisema age perfect ya ku get married ni between 18 to 25 years. Sasa jamani mtoto 18 years anajua nini kuhusu ndoa. 18 to 25 unajua 18 to 25 ndio inakuanga testing period. Eh? 18 to 25 kwa nini itonga gestation period ish ini time ya kutest yani hii ndio time unajua ngaa life yangu inaenda right ama left hii ndio time kujua kala life yangu itakuwa hivi ama juu ama chini mm-hmm. 18 to 25 no wonder the brands mingi zikisell zina selling na hii age gap juu ndio age mtu ajuangi kitu anataka kufanya bado bado anajidiscover so ni rahisi kumuuzia unanipata mm-hmm. so hakuna vile unataka mtu wako hii age gap ama each age group at the perfect age to marry jamani so umemchanganya nafika tatu nasikia waliachana na wako na watoto saba <laughs> akakataa tu majukumu sasa utafanya nini nafikiri 18 to 25 years ni very ni very tricky time wewe ufai kuingia kwa marriage kama young hey, person manze, ni, ni, ya, ni young age ni young age sana but na depend na reasons that's to why 18 to 25 juko na ndio pia unajua since ndio age ya ku discover ni you need more of your time yeah na time mingi iwe sio hii age pia so ka pia kuna hizo reasons kama uki, ukiwa ukiwa married kuna hiyo time una, una save ya kuenda enda kuhanya hanya ku waste time na vijana wadogo kama Dante na Trevor wenye bado wako there city boy era unaona so kuna vile pia hii ina solve juu uki, ukiwa married ama ukiwa kwa serious relationship mtu afanya hizo mashet mingi una una feeling tu ndaka tu kwenda home mhm uchilo your married wife <laughs> But regardless yeye yote hakuna perfect time ya kukua married. Kuna perfect time. Always say mad sasa umefix at sasa age flani ndio age fit ya ku get married hakuna. Unapata kuna wase wenye ni wazae wamepata watu hiyo wakiwa huko hivyo sijui mafuti manini. Wana wana feel maybe wangekuwa wangepata watu hiyo wakiwa yanga ite mko na time ingekuwa kitu different. Na pia kuna wase wenye ni yanga wamepata watu hii ama wame, wame get married wakiwa at a young age wana, wana feel ama maybe ningengoja so hakuna hakuna perfect mtu anaweza sema so unafokifika age flani hii age sasa uko umeoa uko na watoto wawili uko na bibi hakuna time ka hiyo 
juu kila mse kila mse procedure yake ya ya life ni different kila mse venye ana anaenda hizo stages zake za life ni different kuna mse mwenye kulingana na yeye venye vitu zake zime fold up zikafika hii ni perfect time na kuna mse mwenye uki akipigia hesabu na venye penye amefika bado it makes sense so hiyo hiyo time time frame flani ni yako tu si si ni kama ni kama body clock venye kila mse body clock yake ni different ni same tu pia wewe hiyo clock yako ya time utafeel ya ku get married na time utafeel yenye si ya get married ni different zote nafikiria ina dip, ni lo, kuna vitu kadhaa zinachangia mse kufikiria kama anaweza kuwa married between 18 to 25 years ju kiangalia kama mse mwenye tuseme financially ayuko stable ama mse mwenye background yake financially ayuko stable huo mse ata consider marriage very easily ama quickly ju much of his or her time ana vitu mingi zenye ana do ni hiyo ndio kitu yenye kwa value kwa hiyo environment yake yeye kupata mdem ni easier yeye kuchill na madem ni easier juu mara mingi ukipata ngawa tu yenye kwa ma rich kids mara mingi mtu yeye akiwa around 18 to 25 years hiyo ndio time yenye education ime kick in bado anaishi kwa mzazi education ime kick in hizo ndio time zenye kama familia yao ni wale watu wako na line of business ndio time sana funzwa venye anaweza inherit hiyo mali ya budaki so kitambua fikie huko miaka 29 30 huko already yako very stable ashajipanga juu time yenye kwa hapa katikati ya kupata hiyo space ya tuseme kama marriage alikuwa anajaribu kujibuild as a person so kuna vitu mingi zinachangia mtu ku consider kama anataka ku, 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 ku consider marriage within 18 25 years hapo hivyo katikati una feel perfect age si perfect age ku get married kwa 18 to 25 years eh so perfect age ina, ina kwa gani kulingana wewe perfect age ni around uh, 29 30 to 35 huko ndo unafaa kuanza ku consider juu kuna vitu zenye kama say for example nikiangalia nga zile post nilikuwa nafanya like seven years ago six years ago four years ago captions zenye nilikuwa naika pale facebook mse wasi mse anafaa kuwa kwa marriage as in over the years nime grow mentally nime grow nime grow physically <laughs> nime grow <laughs> eh hey, umefanya kika kitabu sasa kwani uko na miaka ngapi sasa hii niko 25 so ina macho eh si ina macho nilikuwa 18 19 huko seven years ago but ajiga pro tuongelea ni 18 to to ni 25 yeah Uje yacha na mbali ni last year tu. Si ndio nak show. <laughs> Nikiangalia vitu nilikuwa na post at that time. Zile vitu nilikuwa na do at your age. Huo si mse mwenye anafaa kwa kwa marriage. Over the years nime grow, nime jua ku handle situation differently than when nilikuwa nikiwa 18 ama 19 years old. Hapo ni mwalimu umetoka high school bado vitu zenye zina nutrition ni vitu za kipuzi. Na sasa hii sasa juko 25. Sasa hii juko 25 na sis age gap inenda hadi 25. Sasa hii unaweza? Sasa hii bado siezi nahitaji kama like 4 to 5 years more ndo ni get money. Mbona filuwezi sasa hii? Juu kuna hizo as in kwa 5 goals zenye niko nazo, kwa 5 goals zenye niko nazo on top of my mind, marriage haiko kwa hizo top 5. Ah, acha na goals zako. Nasema tu inge kwa sasa ati mtu anafaa kwa wako akiwa 25. Mbona feel sasa hii wezi? Of course haiko kwa goals zako. Si ndo nakwambia sasa sasa hii mali niko position yenye niko financially, mentally na feel si si space enough yenye mimi nafaa ku have mtu hii ama ku kuwa married tuelewani <laughs> Sumeniuliza kama watu ingekuwa ikifika 25 una get married uh, as in sasa hivi uko kwa life yako mbona fila wezi marry sasa hivi Sina apart kumbia... from apart from it not being in your goals uh-huh. mbona tu wezi juka mimi kinafaa mbona siezi marry sasa hivi mimi bado nataka kuwa sex <laughs> Una get reason yangu nataka <laughs> as in nataka kupatia jibu na yangu ndo uone swali nauliza mimi with the different people eh hey, bro mi na, nataka na. kutravel so siezi nataka kuwa married sasa hii ati nikepa mko nyumba tu na mtu mmoja hapana mi nataka kutravel different ni and different places ni on different people eh sasa mbona wewe uwezi mi ni kwa era ya ku nataka ni enjoy life ju most of my years nimetumia tu kungangana kunapambana na maisha unajaribu makazi sasa hii nataka niko kwa position yenye hakuna msana ni call kuniuliza eh tunakula nini for dinner nataka nikitoka asubuhi nikienda napiga shughuli zangu mchana na kula huko masupu mamotura huko nikikuja ni kulala tu <laughs> so unaweza toka kumi mwambie asubuhi ndio asikuulize <laughs> bro <laughs> umekuwa kwa relationship ulikuwa unapigia unaweza uko wapi sema uko wapi unafanya nini na nani kwa nini but mbona mbona wase assume nature ya relationship ni something constant in a happen kwa life ya kila mse relationships for example when you have relationships zetu tuseme kama mimi towards you ama mimi towards you 
as in yes sisi si ni mbogi but kuna venye in terms of relating to each other ni different, different. unapata so relationship yako always assume too sasa ju ju popular opinion inasema hivi iki to ready kwa hivi ju even when you na feel same kwa relationship yako same utakonoliza sijui ati uko wapi unanana nani as in nature ya relationships si same kwa kila relationship kila but mse kuna, kuna, kila kuna, mse kitu, ana, vitu zake vitu zake zina happen be different kuna factors zen same kuna factors ni constant ndo maana hadi wazazi walikuwa wakisema kuna vitu zinu ulikuwa nasikia ngo wazazi wakisema yeah. bado nasikia ngadi sasa hii kuna as constant relationship zine, problem as jai change kuna zina as changing najua najua relationship ni different na vitu zina happen kwa relationship ni different but kuna factors zina kuanga same madem ni mtu same hiyo mambo ya time hizo vitu zote yeah. na attention ni same zita i change zita i change but so in imagination unafaa ku assume sasa juu umesikia wasi wa kiandwa where are you Imanishi si si kuna wase wengi wako in relationships na niko sure waulizagwi where are you mbona uko hivi si kila dem dramatic ina maana cha kula iko dem eh so ma demo ni same eh si hadi wewe unasemanga bro wewe mwenyewe unasemanga ma dem ni mtu same wapi where is the evidence sasa nianze kutafuta na evidence hii jamani nikizungumza director amesema kona uko nayo sasa siku hii video siku hii video na postiwa evidence yako itaiko hapo kando hapo chini inabidi yako hapo chini eh because hakuna vile unaweza assume kila msana fanana kama already vetu kwa hapa kwa hii room atufanani sisi madem sijasema sisi madem nimesema individuals as in kila mtu ni individual pia madem ni individuals but ni same kila madem kila 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 mse ni individual madem pia ni individuals at least same kila mtu ni same Hakuna vinyo tuko same sisi wote. At same kila mtu ni same na sawa madem. Exactly bro. point yangu ya relationships na kila mse inaweza kuwa different. Nature kila relationship inaenda be different. As in ju wase fulani wana big problems fulani kuhusu vitu fulani. It manages pia in the same way since madem ni same would have the same relationship problems. Wewe vitu zako zinaweza kuwa different sana. Yes una si ati you have problems but uta have different things. Si vinyo huwa tu assume kila kitu na happen uniformly tuongelee tu, 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 tufanye tu quick quick survey tuangalie in the past tuseme kama six years relationships zenye umesikia zime wase wameachana main problem ilikuwa nini yenye wewe umesikia mimi sijui siangalia kwa toki achana wewe mbona niambie Trevor in the past like six months wase umejua yenye wako kwa relationship na wameachana nini yeye unaweza umesikia yenye inaweza kuwa cause ya break up yao i guess cheating eh yeah, cheating cheating na poverty na, na communication kwanza communication ni noma hata nilimaliza yangu hiyo yeah. communication hiyo inakuwa anga hatari mimi usianze kunizauza maswali za kishenzi wewe unaenda wapi uko na nani kwa umekuwa invigilant una check as in hizo ukiangalia hizo problems zenye ziko around relationship most of the time ni same inaweza kuwa unaweza una date mse different but ukikam back ukiangalia backbone ya hizo vitu zenye zinafanya nyimu kwa sana ni kitu same hiyo e, huku niambie kwa wapi communication o oh, ulitumia pesa kwa bank na huku ilikuwa account ya mtoto huku sema communication as in uki go back the problem is the same to all day every day same place same different people shida tu ni same so wezi niambie ti sasa eti jua tu ni different it sasa problem zao ni, ni ni different but hiyo ina maanisha test yako ndio nakuletea watu same wana kuleta problems same hiyo ni test yako usiguze test bro test test so many ndo zinawapea watu wana complain kuhusu communication ndo zinawapea as in kila kila mse autozi assume sasa at juu unajua <laughs> they will behave hivi autozi assume kila mse ana behave same kila mse ana behave differently kila mse kwa relationship relationship yake akona goals different akona aims different autozi same but the same <laughs> At least same I've done same. Mimi nakusikia Steve Avi. Unasikia? Nakusikia. Bado tu mustach. Lakini yeye na kuachwa. Eh, na kuachwa. Hata huyo pia ni to advise. Anasema anga pia. Kulio bibi na baba. Yeye pia selijonea madem wote ni same. Yana advice ingi akifikiria sasa wake ni different. Eh. Ndio nasikia Steve Avi hapa. Mhm. Steve Avi. Asa to assume. At what? To assume sasa je tunaongelea perfect age ya Kumari. Lakini pia kuna age nyingine Okay atuwezi pia kuna vile mtu amesema kuwezi kwa na perfect age kila mtu life yake huenda be different kuna mtu mm-hmm. jamani zao hata akiwa 25 na ende tu sawa kuna mwenye lazima afike 40 labda hata ni mjinga tu anafaa machua kidogo afike hata 50 lakini sasa kuna age nyingine tunafaa tu agree tu sasa hii kifika sasa wewe saa marriage <laughs> ai kifika wewe jua tu wewe sasa wewe ni lone ranger <laughs> wewe sasa <laughs> vibe imekukataa ime survive na ndoa za wengine wewe kubali tu kuwa baba itikia tu kiti imekataa utawahi pata kiti acha baba 
Sasa hivi have got a 10 million signatures. Huyu jamaa kwani hajaona? Anza kutafuta retirement benefits. Mapema. Hey, kuna jingine ikifika ndugu yangu. I think kwa Machali, kwa Machali hakuna hiyo age. As long as wewe uko hey, umejiandaa, uko hey, ready, uko na pesa yako, hakuna hiyo age flani ile utafika wewe kama mwanaume useme ati always get married. Na wazee flani wametusumbua tu kwa ko 70 ati pia wanaoana bado. Si ndio? Ah wana take time kwa hiyo kitu kabla wafike huko wanakuja pole pole. Hiyo time hiyo time sasa ndio wamefika age and feel ah sasa saa hii naweza tulia na mdimu kwa kitu. Na kitu ya simama. Si ndio? Kitu ya mzee na simama mpaka kifo. Hapana kila mtu akwetu na age bana. Kuna vitu wenzao wazao wanatusumbua tu na me invitation na ni wazee. Nyi mke tu mpigane hadithi za kitambo bwana. Unajua wana... life span saa hii wasi wana wanaishi for long. Wasi wanaishi mpaka around 72 plus years unless uko na hizi ugonjwa zinatokea ngapa katikati asiende hizo so ina maanisha imagine unaolewa ama unaoa ukiwa 18 years to 25 years uko na bro uko na miaka zingine unataka kuchapa na ufala miaka zingine kama 30 40 alafu upate hapo katikati ndio uko na hauna do hapo katikati ndio siju unakutana na hizo magonjwa zina taking long to heal as in ite mioto umekuwa tu kisafa eri wewe ukiwa uko 40 45 huko ukiendelea kama wewe ni challenge umeingia unasema 40 45 una ugonjwa ati uwezi shikwa na mtu unasema sivi tu mtu anaweza control but kwa hiyo age yenye uko 30 already usha ushajua career path yako umefika hiyo age flani yenye at least uko na hustle moja na kuna aso lingine tena inakuletea do. Ari nishaanza ku get special uh, umekuwa specialist kwa hiyo career wewe una decide as in do do hiyo sai do si shida hivyo venye ilikuwa before. Ukiwa 19 years bro do ni shida. But regardless ukiwa 19 na ukiwa 40 of course ukiwa 19 do na ni shida. Eh hey. hey, eh hakuna as in hakuna factor za change. But ukiwa 40 rega- naona do ni poor. Eh ukiwa 40 bila do ni poor. Yeah that is true but regardless mimi siongelee 40 sasa ukiwa hii Ukiwa ndo unaanza anza hizi vitu za life lazima tu utateseka. Hakuna hakuna kitu ta change tu. As in lazima as an experience ndio the best teacher, si ndio? Lazima upitie hizi vitu ndio juu zikoaje huko mbele. Mzee ako forti experience yake ako, akiwa ako na do ama na do ni different sana na wewe. Yeye yeah, alisha hiyo kitu nyu na experience hizi alisha experience kitambo. So sasa hizi yeye ako na times 2 experience. Si ndio nasema sasa hivi imagine venye umesema kukua ukiwa young venye una do alafu bado kwa the same umejeka situation yenye sasa unataka kumari na una do tena unapata au fai kulisha one mouth tena uko na unapata uko na another one na uko na another one so ina imagine uko 20, 23 years uko na familia na una job na uko na hizo responsibilities zote eri ungeongoja tu time mwenye ujitume juu ndio time mwenye wewe as a person hata uja travel the world ujue hata what is best for you but una feel marriage in the best version na best option for you regardless bado kio your time au kofiti hiyo ndio point yangu as in regardless ya yenyewe ukiwa 19 uko na vitu kadhaa utapata kuna mse yes ako hiyo age yenye ni big but pia ana youth yake na nipata endelea ku explain eh bado 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 ulisha ulisha take time ndio fika hapo umefika bado kuna factors zingine bado kuna wase ume wameamua sisi wacha to get married tukiwa tumefika huko hivyo over 40s time yetu tumeshapata career path yetu whatever path yetu but bado wao as long as as much as wamefika huko bado kuna vitu watafeel wame lack so hakuna yenye kuna hiyo part flani yenye sasa hii hapa hivi ndo time fit ya ku strike tuseme ati wacha wacha for now ni jibambe alafu sasa baadaye ndio ndaoa kuna msema anasema kuna msema anasema wacha sasa hizi ni wewe ikifika baadaye nilimaliza hizi vitu which is the same math ukipiga huu msema si same math yani watu wako forti na wanakimbizana huko kwa club kutupiga si same math juskizi nasema <laughs> what nasema huu msema mwenye ako forti anaweza kuwa na feel kuna vitu fulani angefanya kiwa 20 zenye zenye kwa fiti na kuna msema mwenye ako 20 anasema wacha ifike 40 na fanye vitu fulani ukipiga hiyo hesabu kuna msema mwenye ako amefika 40 ndio have kufanya vitu za family bla 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 whatever anze kwenda siju kutoa mahari anze kutafuta mtu hui ni vitu zenye mse fulani mwenye alifanyaga akiwa 20 afsa baadaye anafanya career path yake wenye uki machi side nyingine kuna msali ama kufanya career yake kwanza ndo afanye vitu za marriage unanipata so ukiangalia okay, okay, side zote ni uchague moja upigwe nyingine zote ziko na consequence Unaweza kaa tu ati utaki kuoa ati unataka kufail kariya kumbe hata una. Kumbe ka. <laughs> Labda hata kariya yako ni ondoa. Ungeoa tu upate kariya. <laughs> Ungeoa tu mapema. <laughs> kariya yako haraka. Uh, But I guess done ni vile 
tunafanya pia kuelewana na kuwa nadra ni vile na feel kila mtu uko na kitu anadai kuna wase wenye wana feel unaona kama vile una, una, unasema mse hataja travel nini nini ashajiingiza kwa marriage mm. kuna wase kuna wase wengi nimesoma nao huko cha kwetu saini kirudingi huko nikiwacheki au ni kama vision yao ilikuwa ngatu hiyo marriage na get si na feel watu ni different kila mtu akona kitu anadai jo hao anakanga tu wako sawa msalimu za active marriage ni hivyo mmoja alimaza form 4 akapewa wako ka piece of land kake hapo hivyo akajenga hiyo hati yake hapo initwanga isimba <laughs> na akachukua mdem akaoa unapata sasa yako na watoto watatu ni na wanaendelea tuna life azinika huko wana feel hiyo ndo ku make it kuwa na family so watu ni different kuna mwenye tu ana feel i mean nataka ku travel nataka ku enjoy life yangu life ni short una get watu ni different na feel historia marriage weka unataka wao wewe watu lakini kulingana na vile mko mkiongea na feel 40 ndio age sasa juu tumetaja 40 sana nika ukianza karibia 40 na bado mtu bado nadra waje tu ndugu yangu yuko tu spectator mzee kikona msefanya sema kwanza kwa mademi ikifika 28 na tutuwape 30 Mademu afikisha hadi 30. Eh. Hey. Hey. 30 nafu uko na mtu serious. Amko na ule nini boy fulani pale na Ruby Gossip ako na demo wa 40 years. Nilichekio. Anasema so parents wamekata <coughs> mambo bataka sema nashikilia hii kitu mpaka mwisho. Ni aipaga mimi ya jamaa. Ako siju 21. Jamaa ni aipaga mimi ama 22. Na mama wa 40? Eh sasa unajua mara mingi ukichecking hizi story na kuanga ni ni mdem ali build mwanaume una get <laughs> ukisikia gezi story mara mingi unasikia ngatu eh hey. after i built you after all i did to you i fed you, you i fed you the sacrifices i fed you ni mbaya na hii time ni uncle socks alikupatia mshipi na kufeed migu mshipi ya masai lakini analia i fed you alikubaya west beads so i think kana kwambia alikufeed sasa hii time nyingine yenye sasa ni mama mzee inaendaje hiyo side I was the guardian. Nilikulea wewe. Huyu nimemlea. Nimemlea huyu nilimchukua akiwa mtoto mjinga hata ajui. I was the guardian you are the angel. Ah. Alafu unapata tu pia watu wameumwa watu mama 50 uko kijana 25. Alafu mnakosana ati pia unakwenda kwa counselor. Bana ndio wewe ready uko na mzoefu hapa huyu mzee. Sikuuliza huyu mhenga hospitali kwanza. Uko na mzee kwa nyumba mnakosana unaenda kuambia mtu shida zako ya nini? Ndio huyu mzee anafaa ku solve. Eh bana. Eh si wanasema wanasema ngachukui mambo pelekea wazee. Eh si wazee ndio uko na wisdom. Wewe show wa mzee mnakosana nini? Discuss na mzee wako mmalize. Lakini unakubali tu aje mali kuna wrinkles hivyo jamani hata kama jamani. Hey. But Una motu this is the one. Me, but no, me. age is just but a number. Bro, ah, tusijitoche, tusijitoche. Bro, msee ataika sama sama panga hapo na Daudi Kabaka unashindwa tunasikia nini kwa hiyo nyumba. Wewe umezoea DF. Bro, it's all in the mind. Wewe unasikiza <laughs> J Hass, bro. Sama Sa- mapanga la eh nipatie nyama choma. Kila mtu mikono ndo tu. <laughs> <laughs> una get, vitu zingine tunajifanyanga tu hapo unasema it you love 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 wewe unatumika hapo kwa hiyo relationship mimi kwanza mimi ndambia tu ase kama uko young kama uko e around 18 situation yenu tuko sahihi kwa life manze jua kwanza kitu unataka before u decide hiyo path unataka kama ni marriage kama ni career kama ni nini as in jua kwanza in span ya 5 years hii kitu unajaribu leo inaweza kupatia Damu, results una, na kaje unajua vile vile ni ngumu kujua kitu unataka Mm. Manze ka ka umefika level unajua kitu unataka kudu shukuru god. Ni ngumu sana ku find purpose yako kwa life na kitu unafaa kudu. Basi usifind ukiwa kwa marriage. Eh, hey, najua. Usiingie marriage at ndio utata unataka ku find purpose yako ukiwa ndani ya marriage. But but unajua kitu mbaya na purpose ni ujuangi iko wapi? So wewe sema si find kwa marriage. That's why age ya kutoka 18 mpaka around 25 hiyo ndio time yenu unafaa kujua interest zako ziko side gani. Unapenda nini? From hiyo vitu ulikuwa unafanya high school mpaka sasa hii umetoka nje mali hakuna mzazi. <laughs> nini hiyo? Nini hiyo unajaribu kudu yenye ina ku make wewe yenye ukifanya ni effortless. Kuna hizo vitu yenye wewe ukifanya tu. Labda ukifungua ngatap ufunge hiyo ni effortless kwako. Una feel ndio kitu na enjoy. Labda ukipaka rangi una feel ndio effortless. Azini hizo vitu zenye ufanya una find enye au struggle sana ku do hiyo ndo time wewe unafa hiyo between yo 18 to 25 find hizo vitu hapo katikati jama jama bro <laughs> ni jama <laughs> azi na get kitu dana nasema but kuna angle fulani dana check unajua vitu zenye umepitia na umeface na ume 
pata chance ya kuinteract nazo kwa live si kila mtu anageta unaona vile unaweza jua 1825 ulipenda vitu high school kuna kitu unaweza penda yenye unajua unaweza fanya si kila msia anaget mission nilikuwa tulikuwa na drama music kila kitu kuna msa amesoma shule nyenye hata tu pia wana yetu haikuwa nayo hakuna uwanja ya kwenda kucheza unaget yetu ilikuwa hizo vitu za drama and shit hatujai toka hata nje ya nje ya shule yetu kufanya hizo vitu haikukuwa ama mko mnaenda dan ushaeniambia ulikuwa na music ulikuwa sijui na imbango magani hiyo ni primary Yaani primary yenyewe ilikuwa na music primary lakini ilikuwa na music high school, school ilikuwa ilikuwa na sasa unaona wewe ulikutana nayo primary lakini una get life yako imekupea chance hata kukipata high school umeipata primary you point hapa si high school yeah point ni kukutana na hizi vitu kwa life at least ulikutana nayo mse kuna msaja ikutana nayo for shit yeye kitu anakutana nayo ni marriage anatoka home anaona babake na mama yake vile wanalewa siblings wake yeye mwenyewe anatoka shule anapikia siblings wake already ashaanza hadi kufanya wifely duties na ako class 4 msichana mdogo ati anatoka shule anaenda home yende apikie siblings wake arudi shule saa nane. hauwezi fikira kitu kingine dan hauwezi mimi kama unasikiza hii podcast manzee choose pa thing kwa life yako as in usikue au say wenyewe ati ile kitu wenyewe uliona hapo before buda kwa kidu ama uliona madhako kwa kidu ndio unataka kudu eh hey, break your shit yo ma eh hey, break your shit mi kwa family yetu naweza angalia kwa family yetu tuko sex mi ni second born lakini first born wetu akona two kids sister yangu mwenye ananifuata akona one kid my other brother mwenye anafuata sister yangu akona another kid so mi ni uncle mi ni baba tu ya watoto tu wengi tu wazama kid vizuri yeah okay. and kid so azimu ya jaribu kusema aje azimu sikio mse mwenye ati kama environment yako ime decide even ndio wase wana flu ama even ndio vinyo wase wana do wewe unataka kwenda na environment kwa msee different mimi nataka niende majuu mimi nataka nisome wapi as in kwa msee mwenye unajaribu kitu kingine extra yenye haikufanyika around the environment kitu, tunasema ni rahisi but in terms of environment environment will affect msee subconsciously vitu subconscious ni vitu wezi control ni like 80% uwezi control ni vitu zenye already akili yako inafanya bila wewe kutaka utaka usitaki itafanyika nampata as in ni your default settings ni ni zile primary instincts zako rudi kwa reset button as in ni normal design kukiona baridi yeah, traverse wote wote eh environment in affect your design as in in sahi joto ikiwa tu si wote tutaanza tu kufeel joto of course una, kuna wasenye environment ita affect differently kama ile story plan ya ya the two cg the two brothers mwenye uh, they were raised ba, by drunk dad baba alikuwa drunk but mmoja akakuwa rich mwingine akakuwa poor Reason the same. Kuna reason same. So the same way bado kuna reason same. Bado environment na ku affect the same way as in wezi control. Lum sema alikuwa rich, alikuwa rich jua nini environment yake. Mzali alikuwa poor, alikuwa poor jua nini jua environment yake. So to some extent environment ni ni kitu ngori sana ku, ku, ku control. But unaweza unaweza amua tu. Ni nafikiri hivyo juu. Kama for example juzi tu tumeona history fulani ati unaenda unaskania macho unapewa pesa bure. Vijana wote wajiko watu wakabebana wakaenda huko. Azin kwa watu wote hakuna mtu mmoja anafikiria tu different. Mkomboge yenyewe watu wote. Azin mkomboge yako hakuna msee mmoja tu anaweza changamka korada. Jiko hata. Jamaa sasa unataka wajisaidia. Already wako jiko hata. Jamaa. Juu bestia kwa alipatanga mzungu mwenye ako na do pia wewe una una, una work up down upate mzungu mwenye ako na do pia wewe akuoe. Mzungu shoga. Eh, mzungu shoga ni ngumu. Eh, hey, manzee but tufikirie differently. Manzee to change mindset yetu kama young it's people. All in the mind. It's all in the mind. Nikufa kuna hiyo kitu ya kufind sijui nini kitu unataka kufanya iko wangi rahisi hivyo lakini. But kama you shasikia try try to find out mm. don't know to realize kitu unafaa kufanya na kitu umekuja kufanya ni ku explore wewe no wonder as no wonder your aspect environment in affecting your design kama ujaenda place yenu unaona wase goals zao ni different umeka place yenye goals ni kuwa na family hiyo tu ndo kitu utafaitia kweli exposure Juko. kama ulizaliwa bangu enda hata uishi baba dogo jaribu dandora Joko mtaa yangu huko Pondamali bana kuna vijana wanadhani kuomoka ni kubai kubai tu TV kukuwa na kakeja kakitanda kakiti na wife ameshamaliza mambo wataki kalenda ah kalenda ile ya Chelsea ile Chelsea watachukua kuna <laughs> kuangana nyingine hapo ya gari alafu Riana amesimama nyuma eh. alafu Cross ameshika chain hivi mm eh yo picho kipata geto ni nako gambara eh nako gambara <laughs> na sasa kuna nyingine nako ga- hat but hat realistic unaijua 
ile yenye inakuangalia na kama si pita ni kuna kuna kanyumba kuna tu mtu na ni real real hivi ha iko na tunyasi nyasi hivi umjui utu tupita fulani gani hata ineko tu kukuta hivi but your heart ni heart ya ukweli kama fura hivi kama fura tu hivi unaweza kukuza kukuza tu hivi ni hati ya ukweli kuna tu mtu hapo ni nini hivi uko mtaani kitambo tulikuwa tunapigana wa box kwa ukuta ni kwa ukuta tu man ati box mapiga ile kwa nyumba za mabati zile za cocktail zenye kuna kama mabati hapa ile mkebe ya makaa mali imeraruka hivi tunapaswa unapigilia kuna bezi ni matope so ndani una chapa ka box alafu unaweka gazeti juu pals eh ndio kingi hapo kija yako anajua wewe ni msanii alafu ulikuwa unatafuta ngapi ya system mmm acha <laughs> na siku hizi mnaita ufa kulikuwa na nyingine hapo inaitwa amplifier ni mbaya amp ni mbaya waga deadly unajua ile ya kibuyu na mtungi eh kugeuza speak na upside down mtungi sasa ilikuwa anga wembe majaribu ya nyungu sasa ndio ilikuwa ka pioneer majaribu nyungu si ndio mtungi Mtungi ni kibuyu. Sinasema pot mtungi. Oh. Si ndio tunasema? Eh mimi nasema ya pot, ya pot ni mbaya. Eh ndio nasema pia. Eh ya pot ni deadly. Eh ya pot ina chapanga. Hiyo ni naoma pioneer. Eh hey, ukienda wacha upate kijana uko na hiyo ya pot anawachapa. Ma DJ wote wa manzi hapo, uliko hey. mfalme exclusive wa manzi hapo kwa nini? Agulu, hey. agulu. Mm. Exclusive anajua itwa agulu. Regardless <laughs> <laughs> banishi mesha yako. Aishi yangu. Hapana ah, yako no stack. Eh yangu ni amazing. Hey. Mwezi ko, mwezi keep up. Ndo nalale unono. Eh. Hey.